Now I check the tubes. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't start every live stream with it, it just being aghast. Uh, view my channel. Jesus. <gasps> I am live. Yay. And then YouTube sends me an email. All right. I didn't come here to fuck around. Just to troll people. And I've got a big ass shadow on my face. <laughs> I came here to water marble hearts, and I will succeed. No matter what, I will be a champion at water marbling hearts. So we are removing yesterday's failure. Uh, and I cannot remember which nail does not have the peel-off base. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have double-checked. I don't think any of them are going to pop off today. Uh, I've been very kind to my peel-off base coat today, so uh, I don't think it's a possibility. <laughs> I can do it. That's right. I can do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Rogers. It just means a lot that you think I can. I didn't come here to fuck around. This is how we get good at things. We just keep practicing. <laughs> and then we get good. I don't think this is going to pop off. Ooh. Perhaps. Perswizzles? Perswizzles? That's not a word. But, <laughs> third time's a charm. Exactly. Look at, see, this is what I deal with mostly with the peel-off base coat. Look at how that's coming off. Just, just beautifully. <laughs> okay, I gotta soak off my nail polish. Damn it! Oh, I forgot. Oops, as I'm rolling everything around on my desk. Ooh, a hair. Nice. What I'm wearing on my other hand, it's color clubs. <gasps> Once upon a time. This is my last, my last color club that I had to swatch out from my mystery haul. I am officially free of my color clubs. Wait, I think? I am a liar. There's one more color club to swatch out. <laughs> but I rewatched Colette's video. Again, I studied it. I mastered it. I can repeat it verbatim. Just kidding. No, I can't. But Colette, like, Colette used this word that I've I've never heard before. So, like, I had to look it up. And, like, let me just make sure I'm saying it correctly. So I gotta look it up again just real quick. Um, I believe it's pronounced gentel? Gentle. Um, she said to be gentle, <laughs> which I am not. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it is very latte. It is so cute. It's. A, I feel like this color will make a very good background color for a lot of nail arts. That's going to be so good. <laughs> but yeah, Colette used this word I've just never heard before. Gentle. Um, and if you've watched any of my streams, you know for a fact that I am gentle not gentle. I go ham. I didn't come here to fuck around. I just go. So, um, we're gonna try this new tactic of being calm, cool, and collected. You know, this is a serene moment. No chaotic nonsense is gonna be happening here. All right, guys? <laughs> I need y'all to take your chaos and pack it up because <laughs> apparently I just absorb it. I can't. I can't. We gotta be calm today, okay? No panicking. No flight or fight responses today. We will make hearts. <laughs> I, ju I just panic. Water marbling just sets me off. I'm like, what? What? Huh? Huh? I'm just, I'm, I'm just afraid the church is gonna find me and then burn me for being a witch, okay? <laughs> I think it's a rational fear. <laughs> They're gonna see me and burn me. I know how witch hunts go, okay? I, I watched, oh no, Castlevania, okay? I saw what happened to Dracula's wife. That doesn't seem like fun. Do it. Yes, I will. I will. I will do. Okay, my gloves the wrong way around. <laughs> Gotta put it back on. <laughs> my life is a chaotic nonsense, all right? This is just <laughs> live life chaotically. It's how we go. Look at that. Look at the peel-off base. It just never wants to give. And I tried my damnedest. Good lord. Okay, the jets are back. They're back for me. 
The military's watching over my neighborhood. Dude, this is fucking bananas. We had an ambulance parked outside of our house the other day. And like all month, there's just been an ambulance or a fire truck or whatever just toting around our neighborhood. Like, what is happening to my neighbors? What's going on? Is everyone, like, getting carbon monoxide poisoning? Like, what? Because they have to have their heaters on? I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe people are starting fires in their house. <laughs> These Floridians can't handle it. <gasps> but the groundhog. The silliest American tradition. The groundhog. He didn't see a shadow? I don't know which way it is. But congratulations, everyone. We're going into spring early. It's going to be wonderful. Dude, that's so funny that they just use a rodent to tell the weather. <laughs> that's why I want all my weather men to be, or weather people to be, just rodents. <laughs> and, oh my god, I watched it, um, and they all wore ta top hats. Yes, let's bring back top hats. Come on, people. Apparently the car killed hats, though, so rest in peace. Men couldn't get into their cars without bumping their hats, so it became out of fashion. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, okay, so that Island P video I posted is doing fairly well. I'm super pleased about that because uh, my live stream accidentally got posted as a video, so YouTube was very mad at me. But the Island P video is doing very, very well. But literally, everyone is suggesting polish for days, P um... Uh, blurring base coat. What, is this a holy grail that I just missed? Like, did I miss the memo of the nail polish people deciding that polish for days has the best uh, blurring base coat? Okay, I still, I still have peel off base on, or blurring. Did I say peel? Uh, <laughs> has the water marble been sanctioned by my HOA? Um, no. Uh, I'm not allowed to have fountains, which became a bit of a contested issue with my HOA when uh, my water main broke, <laughs> or the main line to my water main. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So our water main has broken three times in like the seven years we've lived here. It's been great. The first two times, it happened on our side. Such bullshit. So we had had to call an emergency plumber to fix it. The third time? It broke on the city side. <laughs> so the city had to pay for it. They had to send out people. <laughs> but because it was the city's issue, uh, the city took <laughs> like four days to come and fix it. <laughs> so I just had this like water fountain in front of my house because it was before the stop. So I couldn't turn off the water. So it's just like a water fountain in front of my house. <laughs> No, the HOA didn't complain about that because that happens a lot on our street. I guess that just happens a lot in Florida in general, I guess. The water mains just break. Uh, now they're a nice base coat. You have a couple, but not your go-to coat. See, I just, I don't think it'll be my go-to coat. It'll be like, I just, for when I need a blurring base, I think I'm going to go with their purple one as it's uh, purple cancels out yellow on the color wheel. Um, so, and my nails aren't, like, I'm not concerned about stainage. I don't care. Like, a lot of people start giving me tips to, like, whiten my nails. I'm, I'm not about that. I don't mind what yellow nails. Yellow nails are well-loved nails, you know? Um, also, it gives people, like, reasons to throw vomit emojis at me. Like, ooh, so gross. <laughs> I've got spaghetti Tupperware nails. <laughs> uh... So I don't really care about stainage because it's going to be covered up with polish anyway. I mean, only a select few people get to see my naked nails. <laughs> so I'm not too concerned about it and I don't want to potentially damage my nails by bleaching, bleaching them or anything like that or buffing the top. <sighs> but tis life. We go on. But I feel like if I'm looking for a... a words. If I'm looking for words in the English dictionary, as I struggle with my first language and my only language, <laughs> if I'm looking for a blurring base, just for specific colors, 
then it might be best to knock out the stainage as well. So probably the purple one. <gasps> Hello, couch potato. How are you? Ugh. As I'm trying to clean the underside of my nails. You like Zoya's Naked Manicure Polish? They have a lavender that cracks it nicely. I was thinking about also, like, I was thinking about, like, the next time, like, Zoya does a sale, picking that up as well, because a couple people had suggested the Zoya, um, and a lot of people suggested Island P as well. Polish for Days just had, like, an immense amount of people, like, suggesting it, though. Like, it's, it's like, if you're like, hey, guys, uh, is there a decent blurple color out there? And then the entire nail polish community goes, yeah, Orly Symphet Synthetic Symphony. Get this blurple. <laughs> this is, oh my god, ew. Ew. My peel off base coat on my thummy. Yeah. <laughs> the nail polish community has decided this one is king. Oh my god, I almost picked up my acetone to drink from it. That, that would be a fun thing. You're, I don't, I, okay, let me just check. Because I can just remove it real quick. I don't, I think because my overhead lighting and stuff like that, it threw off toe beans. Um, I'm going to, I should, let me just swatch it real quick. Because I do not, I, maybe it changed, maybe it didn't. But this is not what I remember toe beans looking like. Ah, maybe. Maybe, that's a bit pinky. I don't think it is changing. I think it's just my lighting that's throwing the uh, golden shimmer off a bit. But it looks a little... It's hard to tell with my camera. My camera's having a hard time. Let me find my swatch of toe beans. As I... Let that dry for a minute. Let's see. Instagram. Go back in my Instagram feed. Toe beans. Oh, toe beans was so long ago. Good lord. I'm gonna be on a struggle bus. Toe beans was so long ago. Oh no. Oh no. When was the royalty trio? That was before the Halloween. Before the Halloween. Okay. Glamethyst hasn't... None of my other ones have changed. I know the frosted metals have, like, changed a lot. I... <laughs> After I recorded my, uh, top and best sellers of Holo Taco, I realized that my, uh, featured date or whatever changed. Well, the fake date changed. Toe beans. Okay, so that's toe beans when I got her. That, actually, that looks fairly similar. Let me give it a second coat. Oh. Let's see. Let's give her a second coat. Because I think it's just my lighting that's throwing it off. I might, I think toe beans is a three coater. But it's a linear hollow. It should be two. That, hmm. It's just hard to tell with my lighting. Hmm. That's the fresh swatch. It's a little... It's a little less pink. Hmm. Maybe it's changed. Maybe. How many coats is that? Uh, two coats. But my nail length was much shorter. I'll give it three coats before I confirm that it has in fact changed colors. <laughs> because my nail length is significantly different. Hmm... Toe beans. Is this toe beans? This is toe beans. Okay. Because, <laughs> okay, that is toe beans. We... <laughs> I mean, even the, even the bottle in the photo looks a little different. Mm. Mm. Okay. <sighs> I don't, I don't feel okay with toe beans changing, but I don't think it is. I don't I don't want to be that person. Someone posts me on the subreddit being like, this person's discovered that it changed. I don't want to be, I don't want to be patient zero for toe beans change. I don't want the backlash. <laughs> um, my, fr my frosted metals, I guess only, only fake date and only my fake date has changed. All the other frosted metals for me have stayed the same. And my my hollow tacos sit in the most dangerous position. They sit on my shelf. Um, they do not receive direct sunlight, though. This room is a dark room. <laughs> I do not allow the sun in my office because it is too hot. But it doesn't sit in a helmer. Let's see. Toe beans. 
Come on, Toe Beans. You didn't change colors, did you? Okay. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. That's three cots of Toe Beans. I think it changed slightly. <gasps> oh, no. Ah! Maybe? Maybe it could just be lighting. It could just be lighting, guys. It looks close to my yellow lighting setup. Maybe it is my lighting. But this is the same exact light. <laughs> I, that I used to take the photos with. Uh, oh no. Maybe. I think the yellow has become more prominent. Oh no. Maybe not. Am I in denial? <laughs> is that just not a river in Egypt? <laughs> hmm. I think that golden shimmer is just coming out a bit more. Tobin's had like a green sh gold shimmer in it, right? Hmm. Mm. Ah. I don't know. It could be lighting. <laughs> I just don't feel confident because I've had a lot of people yell at me about colors. Um, and I have fought back. Like I've just fought them on it. So I don't. <laughs> I'm going to take it off now, though. We're going to do our base coat. We're actually going to water marble instead of distracting ourselves, trying to pretend like this is not what we wanted to do today. Yeah, we wanted to compare toe beans. <laughs> oh, I miss things. Uh, it can look pink or gold depending on the light or angle. Oh, okay. Because I remember it having a green shimmer in it. I don't remember too much the gold. But a lot of, like, those shimmers can lean two colors. Okay. Now, I am going to oil my cutes because I don't want this peel-off base to last. I don't want to give it a fighting chance in hell because I also have other nail arts that I've planned, but the water marble hearts have just distracted greatly. So we're oiling the nails. I just use a mixture of vitamin E and jojoba oil, and I put in an old sashvit bottle. So uh, that's what my, my nail oil is. It's just... Me buying big bottles. <laughs> okay. Aww. The new... <sighs> Wait, which polishes were you looking at, Couch Potato? Oh, yes, I am the Water Marble Queen. I am now... Step aside, Colette. <laughs> this is my throne now. <laughs> no, I could never. I could never stand where she stands. Uh... Oh, the frosted metals live in your box, but the blue ones still change. Okay, that was the wild thing about frosted the uh, cold sh shoulder is a lot of people said that uh, if you had exposed it to like warm temperatures and like the light, it changed less, lesser. It, the change was lesser. So a lot of people like they did. Uh, someone like a bunch of people grabbed all their cold shoulders and uh, they documented how they stored them uh what temperature their houses are normally at and whatnot and they did a huge like uh case study to find out whose polishes changed the most and whose didn't and it was really fascinating i can't remember who but if you like look up cold shoulder research i'm sure it's gonna come up because it was so fucking cool that all these people gather that information i do not own cold shoulder uh it was not a frosted metal I was interested in at the time. Um, and actually, at that point in time, I was not buying Hollow Taco. Just because of its price point. It was far too expensive for me. <laughs> and now, I just buy it. Because at first, I didn't realize nice nail polish just sometimes is expensive. You know? I didn't give it that due diligence. <laughs> I was like, no, I can get this from China Glaze. It's fine. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I mean... Fall Taco is expensive for what it is. I mean, Indies can definitely give you something for far cheaper and a little bit more special. But why does this look so gross? What's my lighting doing? Hello? Ew. Hello? Okay. It's a bit better. It makes my hands look a little less dead. I do not have a swatch stick. I do not own swatch sticks. Um... I don't, I think I should, but then I'm like, well, what's the point of all that plastic? I, I have photos of them. <laughs> so that's m my thing. I might buy swatch sticks later on, but I'm just sitting here like sitting on the plastic. I'm like, mm, 
maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, yours has never looked that lilac that is in the website. Mine, when I got my fake date, it looked... Wait. Toe beans or a fake date? Both of mine have resembled the website. If yours doesn't resemble the swatches on the website, I would contact customer support. Hollow Taco's customer support is out of this fucking world. Um, I I have only ever had positive experiences with Hollow Taco support, so and they're always they're always happy to to oblige oblige. <laughs> they're always happy to give you what you need. Um, th that was a great thing about. <laughs> It's really funny. The first time I contacted Hollow Taco support, um, I I always type out my emails like as professional as possible. So like, good day, kind gentle person. Uh, my package has gone missing. UPS cannot find my house. Uh, how do I handle this situation? <laughs> I I just I do it very professionally. And then the Hollow Taco support person came back at me with fucking emojis, and I'm like. Okay, I don't know how to handle this, but I appreciate it. So the next time I had to contact support because something was buggy with the website, they like I wanted to see my rewards and the rewards weren't like showing. So I contacted support and I'm like, I I I was like, this is how Hall Taco communicates with the hieroglyphics of emojis. So I used some emojis and this person just gave me a straight up business answer. They're like, yeah, our website's down. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so I look like a fucking dumbass. I was like, well, hello there. And they're like, oh, not another one of these motherfuckers coming, coming in here emailing me. <laughs> Hi, Polish Mess. How you doing? We're just talking about Hall Taco's customer support and how amazing it is. Also, I will. I will water marble hearts. I have just applied a peel-off base coat. And now I'm topping it with Orly Bonder. Don't ask. Wait. Okay. You can't ask me why I do this. I do this because it causes the unt to dry just a little bit faster, so I don't get stringy, stringy peel off base coat nonsense in my polish. It just kind of seals it a little. Also, I have a refill of Bonder, so I don't care about wasting it. And apparently, I have a whole refill bottle of Seshvis Beats base coat, so uh, guess I'm just carrying that with me. Guess I'll test that one out. <laughs> okay, I've missed a lot. Also, I will say, like, Mooncat's customer support is pretty fantastic, too. I've never had to contact their support, but I made an order with them, and they sent me an email, like, two days after it shipped out. They're like, hey, I we just want you to know some of our brushes came out wonky. Uh, contact us if you have any wonky brushes. And I was like, holy crap. That's amazing. Preemptive fucking customer support. Like, I know if Hollow Tacos had wonky brushes in their things. I know Orly has. Um, it's just kind of amazing that they're, like, preemptively sending out emails being like, Hey, guys, if you receive a wonky brush, uh, our bad. Contact us. We'll set it right. It's like, that's that's some pretty good fucking customer support. Yeah, uh, USPS is fucking... I don't, I don't like them. Um, and I've tried sending, like, Hollow Taco to my uh, parents' house, like, for my mother and stuff like that. And, like, they can never find my parents' house. And it's, like, it they they don't live in the wilderness. They live in a fucking city. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. The, their house is right there. <laughs> well, what my... Like... You also experience a lot of, like, weirdness when, like, new neighborhoods build up, and then all of a sudden, it's just, like, you are nowhere, because Google Maps doesn't know the street exists, because they just made a new street and built up new houses, so Google Maps is like, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> so you try to order things to your new house, and it's just like, nah, nah, nah not available, not until your street appears. <laughs> Island P? I haven't contacted Island P support, but that's good to know that they're good. Uh, your base coat bottle exploded? <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. Well, that's that's the fantastic thing about Hollow Taco support. They send you a new one. Thank you. Oh my god. I, I get it when support doesn't want to send you, like, they'll just offer you a refund. But when you're dealing with, like, limited edition things and whatnot, and, like, you've already spent your money... I want the product. 
So just getting your money back, like it's, I understand it. It makes much more sense, like business wise. Like, uh, my color club. Um. So this is color clubs. We liming. Um, this had a batch issue. This is not the color it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a lime color, not a green screen color. So I contacted, this is, this wasn't from my mystery haul. This was something I actually ordered straight up. So I, you know, I paid like, you know, actual, like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't part of the mystery. So I contacted Color Club support. I was like, hey, um, I believe this polish suffered a batch issue. Um, what, what up? Hey, here's photos. And <laughs> it was really funny. I contacted them, sent them the email. And then it, four hours later, four hours later, I get just a straight up invoice email from Color Club saying they've issued me a refund, which was really funny. It made me laugh because there was just no customer service like involved. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. That's very upfront. And then an hour later, I got customer service email that was like, uh, I have issued you a refund. Thank you so much for informing us. We've moved it up the line. We've told the, we've told the, the factory that, uh, that has suffered a batch issue. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, how did the bottle explode? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got base coat. Okay, so in the description, I've put the colors that I will be using today. I won't be switching them out. It will be color clubs. Gang gir or girl gang. GG, easy. Um, and color clubs. Blaze. All right. We aren't playing nonsense games today with switching colors constantly. But color clubs, girl gang is going to be my base. My base. You had issues with the retractable brush? I, oh, okay. So I was so upset because I, I was going to order the ni Nightmare Before Christmas thing. And then I saw the polishes and I was like, nah. But if I had gotten it, I just wanted a bunch of, no one did this. And I wanted it so badly. I wanted someone to literally just drop it in a bottle of acetone and see how it holds up. Like a bunch of these YouTubers got that retractable brush for free. I just wanted to see what happens when you drop it in a bottle of acetone and it stays in acetone for like a minute because we've all dropped a brush in a bottle of acetone. And I just wonder if that would hurt the components of the brush at all and whatnot. I'm like, come on, someone has to ruin the brush. No one fucking did. No, and I was like, okay. <sighs> I just wanted to know because the, the retractable brush, it has a point of failure, right? The retraction. So eventually something might fail with it. Okay, let me, oh, we're a little close. So I just wanted to see that so bad and no one did. <laughs> Do I have a clear stamp? A clear stamp of what? Okay, going in with my base, going in with my base. And I have like fallen so far behind in chat. I'm so sorry. I'll try my best to catch up because... I, I've just got too busy about complaining that a bunch of YouTubers didn't put their very expensive and free brushes in acetone to destroy for, for science. <laughs> okay, after I paint my my thing, I'll catch up. My base. Base. God, this color's so pretty. Again, I got it in my mystery haul. Like, come at me, everyone else. Y'all mystery hauls sucked. Mine? Goat. A clear stamper makes water marbling a breeze. No, I don't have that. I don't, I don't need a crutch. <laughs> I probably need a crutch, but I'm going against the grain. I don't see Colette using a stamper. <laughs> I see the goddess using just mar marble, just water and polish. Wow. I just, I went for it. I went for my cuticles. I targeted them directly. <laughs> I just, I just target them with, <laughs> okay, we clean up our cuticles just a little bit. <sighs> okay, 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 I clean up my cuticles and then I check, then I catch up on chat, I'm so sorry, but I can't let this polish dry, because if it dries, then I will cry, and I don't feel like crying on stream, it's too soon, like, this is what, my fourth stream, I can't. Though I am water marbling, so I think crying is acceptable at this time. <laughs> I don't want to mar water marble again. <laughs> it's not fair. Why has life cursed me to water marble this many times on stream? 
it's fine, guys. We, you know, and if, you know, I'm gonna succeed today. And, you know, people can look back on my other streams and see that there's, like, six hours of me failing at doing this. And they'll be like, oh, wow, uh, she wasted her time greatly <laughs> just for that. <laughs> I'll be like, yes, I did. Okay. Catching up on chat. <sighs> your post office ignored your calls? <gasps> I don't. I think it's time to start a riot. The glue was dissolving in the brush. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, I got this off of Amazon. It uh, has no... Yeah. I I haven't had any issue with it yet, but I kind of take care of... I, I, I treat my brushes like they are small and little children. I oil them and stuff like that. But that's good to know, to like watch for the glue dissolving. Oh my goodness. Oh... You don't know of any post office that answers phone calls? That's that's pretty true. Why is my color balance so... Hello? Color balance. Why are we so, like... Gross? Why are we making my hands look so... Dead and... Jaundice? <laughs> it looks like, it's like I've got, like, liver failure going on here. What's happening? Okay. The pink, this pink, yes, it's in the description. I put it as the two colors I thought I was going to use. It is Girl Gang. It is such a pretty, I think it's a two-coater. I think it's a two-coater. I've already swatched it. I can double check. Here, I'll leave it on screen as I go through my swatch footage. Uh, Girl Gang, when did I swatch you? Oh, is that Girl Gang? Yes. See, Okay, now, people might ask me, like, why do you show the bottom of your bottle uh, in your swatch footage? That is literally for me. It was a three-coater. It was a three-coater on long nails. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God, I almost started water marbling without latexing it up. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm spoiling you guys with all these streams. No, I think I'm causing chaos. I think YouTube hates me. I think YouTube's like, uh, excuse me, miss, you're not making us any money. Please stop streaming. <laughs> He's just like, we're not running ads. We're not going to do any of those fun things on your channel. Please stop wasting our bandwidth. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, okay. Going in with my liquid latex. It's just body latex that I've put into an old LA Colors bottle. Okay. We're just going to do the tops first. The tops. Honestly, like, my latex job has been pretty fucking fire for these last water marbles. Like, I normally, when I water marble, I have, like, polish, like, all here, all under here. <laughs> and it's a nightmare to remove. <laughs> okay. I need just, okay, I need everyone to send their good feelings. And just, just remind me of Colette's new word that I discovered the other day, which is gentle. All right. We learned a new word. <laughs> Cause I rewatch, I, I rewatch these streams to see how I'm going to edit them down. And I noticed I'm a fucking animal. <laughs> I am treating the polish like it is my red headed stepchild. <laughs> Just beating it. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I, inappropriate jokes. Okay, I like dark humor. I'm so sorry. But, like, okay. I am treating it like... <laughs> I, I'm just being abusive to my polish. Gentle. Gentle. <sighs> Hello, Nicole. <laughs> How are you? You know what? It, you know, it could be my fault because I don't schedule the streams at all. And that's probably causing frustration. But I'm, like, scared. <laughs> I'm scared to do things on a schedule or whatnot. Because then I'm like, what if I can't make it? And I fuck it up. And then everyone gets mad at me. And then... <laughs> and then everyone hates me. That's not the reason they're going to hate you, Allie. <laughs> it's probably because you've tried to water marble three times. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. What, you... 
what do you oil what oil do you use for my brushes i use just my jojoba oil and um the vitamin e mixture i make sometimes if i'm feeling particularly spicy or lazy and i can't find my other one i'll just use this blossom scented oil it doesn't have jojoba oil in it so um i haven't really noticed too much of a difference between the two um but sometimes but it's like i don't like this i don't like the smell of this it's lavender i do not like lavender smells uh those can trigger migraines easily in me so <laughs> this oil is meant for my toes and brushes <laughs> if i treat my feet sometimes i you know the, tr the feet are too far away for me to care like people sitting here in the nail polish community going oh yes this is a good petty color and i'm like my feet are naked <laughs> because i'm afraid i'll use something that stains and then my toenails will be yellow and i cannot handle that because i wear too many flip-flops that is, that is how I live life. I am a Floridian. <laughs> we survive in flip-flops. <sighs> Every time you ask to send good feelings and vibes, it makes me think of Goku Spirit Bomb. Yes, I need the earth. Collect its energies. <laughs> yes, this pink and yellow combo. Let's go. My latex, I'm matching it so well. Okay. <sighs> It's so hard to get the underside of your fingers and, you know, have it on camera. It's it's pretty easy when you're not trying to rotate it like a mess. <laughs> you missed the first two times. Wait, a recap? Um, I made some pretty cool water marbles that were not fucking hearts. Okay, I did photograph them. Let me bring up the photos. <sighs> I photograph my failures. Okay. Here's the first one. The first one, I failed immensely. And then I just tried to cover it up with a stamp. That is not cute, boob. I mean, the water marble is pretty fire, but it's not a heart. That is, those aren't hearts. Those are sad, sad, broken dreams of a, uh, a relationship that just didn't work. Then my second one. This one, I kind of like way more. This one's the one I just took off. <sighs> Again, we... We have some heart-like shapes here. But what happened here? We gave up. I gave up. You all, like, were encouraging me, but I just was like... Argh, argh. So, also, this is my cat. <laughs> Sunday. She loves me a lot. <laughs> she loves me <laughs> so much. And I can promise you all, she loves me. <laughs> She just has resting bitch face, okay? <laughs> she has a face only a mother can love. <sighs> you stay for the chaos? Okay, well, that's all I have to offer. Because I do not have water marble skills to offer. So, <laughs> was it Mediocre Manny says? Uh, you either have uh, talent or you have personality. Uh, I don't have any of those. I just have chaos. <laughs> and we're just all watching this train wreck. <laughs> Oh, yes. We're all here to see this train derail, you know, and you can't look away. It's it's too terrifying. It's too like, what what are you doing? Please stop. But then I continue. <laughs> uh, I really wish I lived my life a little bit more, uh, uh, less chaotically, words, uh, structured. <laughs> the second one, though, is pretty. Uh, yeah, I've re I was really happy with the way that one came out, but they weren't hearts. They weren't hearts. It was a good water marble, but a failure upon the hearts. I need Captain Planet. I can't remember which kid had the heart ring, but I need him with me right now in spirit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he got such a short end of the stick. Everyone else has these cool ass rings and this motherfucker's just blasting out hearts like a goddamn Care Bear. <laughs> All to summon, what, a blue-skinned motherfucker to beat the fight for them against, uh, <laughs> pollution? <laughs> yeah, Captain Planet fighting capitalism. What happened, Captain? It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> you have to paint your toenails. Two of them are discolored from stubbing them. I'll never forget what I felt like I had to paint my toe after I broke it, but my entire toe was purple, so I just went with the aesthetic. It was a vibe. 
<laughs> I'll never forget. Okay, I've, I've broken my toes twice. So I've broken broken my pinky toe by kicking the a door frame. And then, you know, that hurt. Like, I just walked into it. Like, <laughs> I just walked into it, as you do. And then I broke my uh, big toe, which I almost thought I broke my foot, which could have been really bad because I don't have health insurance and I don't want to go to the hospital. Uh, if you break a toe, the hospitals can't do anything for you. It's just going to heal funny. <sniffs> Got it. But I, I was talking to one of my friends online and I have a hot mic. I always just leave my mic open. And I stood up and I was wearing my favorite pair of pajamas, which have tore, like they're all torn up and they're like my most comfiest pair of pajama pants. But because they're all torn up, they kind of like sag a little like on the legs. So I stood up and then I stood into <laughs> one of the other legs. So I just completely tripped full weight on my big toe, broke it, hot mic'd. So all my friend here is... <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sunday stop. Get out of my face. I'm okay. <laughs> so that's all my friend hears. <laughs> but I was fine. I broke my toe. It's okay. I'm such a baby. Okay. We are water marbling. Done telling stories about my feet. Okay. Okay, weird pervs. <laughs> no more feet stories. <laughs> oh, God. My toe, like, tripled in size. It was so fat. It was just, like, a big old sausage on my feet. So I drew, like, in Sharpie on my toenail. Just, like, a little sad face. <laughs> it had no structure to it whatsoever. It was just a sausage. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are. You're doing your second Halloween for the month of February. Wait, you're doing so. But watching you do this, I mean, the heart water marble. Okay. We will persevere today. Hello, Nicole. <laughs> this is just talk against that planet here, that one poor kid who is a teenager. The same swamp water, the same water. I don't believe in filtered water, okay? I ain't about that kind of lifestyle. All right. My, my water is filtered through the finest alligators. Okay. We're going to zoom out slightly. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Join hands as we say a prayer to Colette. Please, water marble queen, see through it that my bullseye spreads <sighs> and my heart's form. Amen. Okay. We're going in. <laughs> we're going in with girl gang we're gonna double it up okay everyone it's time to focus up we are no longer fucking around drop <laughs> we are no longer please please ah okay okay shh everyone alligator filtered water yes all right we will succeed and perse persevere where I was going to say where others have failed, but it's just been me alone failing on my own <laughs> where I have failed multiple times previously. Yep. The water marbles sure were cute, but they weren't hearts. They weren't hearts. Hmm. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet, Captain Planet. He's a hero. Oh, he's gonna take pollution down to zero. All right. Gentle. 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 Oh, I'm hitting my light source. Okay, we wipe the brush. <sighs> okay, grab from the second thing. Boop. We wipe the brush after each attempt. Boop. All right. Okay. We're going to get there. Don't worry. Boop. Okay. Gentle. 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 That was manly. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I'm going to start pulling from a different ring. Because I feel like there's too many rings. Which ring did I pull from? This one. <gasps> 
you motherfucker see what I- I'm so sorry. I did not mean to call. I said that in a, like, platonic, like, uh, term of endearment way. I- Okay, I'm so sorry for calling you all motherfuckers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just got too excited. I'm taking it. I am taking it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, my camera is way too close. I'm taking it, though. I'm taking it. My polish, my polish, my polish. Okay, my camera's way too close. I'm gonna have to back it up. Get out of here! Ah, uh, perhaps? May chance? May chance a heart? I am backing up my camera though, because I literally was fighting around it, and that is not con conclusive. Con conducive? I know English, all right? I need everyone. Okay. I'm so sorry. This is going to be a disaster. Close your eyes if you get motion sick. There we go. We're backing up just a little bit because that was way too close. <laughs> okay, now I've got some space. I've got some aerospace. It's good. It's good. I know. <sighs> Guys, it, it's, it's passable. It's passable. We can do better. We can. We can achieve. Where's my cute, my, my tweezers? There. <sighs> All right. All right. Holding your breath from a thousand miles away. Yes. Oh, I just dented my nail. Okay. We're moving this far away. Oh, I just, okay. All my, because of the latex, I'm just sticking to myself. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Also, after every one of these streams, I've had to clean off this fucking lens right here because I've gotten like little water specks on it <laughs> from breaking my latex like this, like an animal when you're supposed to cut it, but Ow, I just pinched myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, the latex, not fire. That was not cute latex. I do not appreciate whatever happened here. <laughs> Did I? All right. I didn't wrap my latex well enough. Okay. We come back in. Oh, and spill the water. Okay, we clean up. We clean up. We say again a prayer. Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys in, but the camera is now further away. Okay, I'm going to... This one, this is just to clean. This is cleaning because we need to clean. Cleanliness is close to... Goodiness? Godliness. Jesus Christ. My See, this is what happens when I stream. My brain. It just... Out my head. <laughs> ah, I keep touching my nails. Look at that. Okay. You can see the hearts. But I've got these stupid water bubbles. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, someone says they blow. I felt like I just spit all over my hand and I still have the water barbels. Barbels? Bubbles. Oh, it's like under. That's cool. <laughs> okay. We're living for the bumps, you know? You know, we're all imperfect. We all have lumps and bumps. So does my manicure. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. Okay. We clean. We're clean. Are we? Okay. It worked last time. We say prayers to Colette. All right. Please, water marble queen, guide my hand. Guide my hand. Does anyone else like my thumbnails for my streams, though? Like, I couldn't fit the E, so I just kind of squished it on the side. I thought that was kind of funny. And I feel like it goes with the vibe of the stream, <laughs> where I'm just, I, you know, hoping and praying. <laughs> I think my thumbnails are funny for my streams. I think my thumbnails for my YouTube videos are a little cringe, but, you know, we play the game. We're playing the game. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Guys. Okay. One more bullseye. One more. One more. <gasps> All right. All right. Gentle. Gentle. Just like the queen said. Okay, I'm I'm picking this up for no rhyme or reason. Gentle. And I hit my light source. Just like a gentle queen would. Okay. Just boop. We are calm 
cool and collected, just like Colette. She does not have a worry in this world because she's water marveling her heart out, literally, literally taking her heart and putting it in the marble. Okay, we've got a little bit of a smooshed thing going on. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, gentle, gentle, Allie. Gentle. Okay, this is not, this is not turning out. All right. All right. We fucked that one up. Boo. Boo earns. We went too hard. <laughs> okay, wait. Maybe we can do the top, though? No. Boo. Maybe we can do it on the this side, though. Maybe we can s save the, the bullseye. I mean, there's a big heart in the center, but that's never going to translate. Okay. Boop. Okay. Too much polish gentle boop we try again we go again that is the lesson to learn in life you know i've only gotten worse each time i've attempted this <laughs> I, it's always so promising in the beginning and then in the end i come out here with this nonsense all right okay <sighs> we failed Ugh. we have failed but you know, we will. Attempt. Maybe I can just do it again. Maybe, wait. <laughs> Maybe we could just save it again. <laughs> Maybe we could just keep using this over and over again. There are no rules to water marbling. Ah! The only rule is that you have fun. Okay, I think I'm dipping too hard. I've lost the gentle. Colette taught me a new word. And then I was like, I'm not going to use that. Okay. One more attempt. As this is drying like crazy. And everyone who like actually does water marble is like cringing their heart out. I'm so sorry, water marble people. I'm trying. I'm trying to stand where you stood. Okay. But now I'm just going. Okay. Yeah. It's too dry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Lessons are learned. Think smarter and harder. Think with the heart. We let it dry for a little bit. The only rule, you are correct, Polish Mess, is that we listen to Colette. That is the only rule. She said be gentle, and I'm still stabbing at it. Like, <laughs> like this owes me money. Like, I'm out here in the back alley fighting this water marble. <laughs> okay. We got to focus up, guys. This has to get done today. And it's almost coffee time for me. I love me coffee time. I have a coffee when I wake up and a coffee at 2 o'clock. So I'm about to get very cranky because that, oh, that's coming up in like 12 minutes. But, I mean, I shouldn't have started my stream this early. But, I've, I, I almost knocked that over. Okay, I need I need other, like streamers who stream themselves water marbling i just need to know that they are also almost knocking over their water uh their polishes every time i'm gonna try with less bullseyes okay we're we stop here we stop here chaos and water marble don't mix that is 100 percent true polish, polish mess and unfortunately unfortunately all i have is chaos unlocked chaos reigns all right it stopped spreading we go gentle wipe it off wipe it off gentle wipe it off wipe it off we take the second boop okay 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 we making the point of the heart boop all right we wipe it off we can't live chaotically boop <laughs> yet we're choosing every living day <gasps> a heart a heart a heart we formed a heart. Okay, now we're going to grab from the red. Boop. Because I feel like that's another issue. I... Oh! Guys, 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 guys. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's happening. It's happening. Oh my god, it's fucking happening. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, I think I'm just going to... Oh, but I don't want the vagina at the top. Because I feel like people... There we go. Okay, the vagina is slightly gone. 
Uh, she's with us in heart, but I'm taking this. I'm taking it. Okay, please, 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 Colette. Please. Please, I pray. I pray. Be I beseech you. Please. Why? Why is my polish just not cleaning up? Okay. 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 Maybe. Little heart. Maybe little heart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it's slightly off. It's slightly off. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this another time. <laughs> no one's forcing me. <laughs> okay, we pop the little bubbles. It's okay. We can't judge it until we get this off. <sighs> what what is Lamez breathing? La Lamez. I'm just hyperventilating. That's the only kind of breathing I know. Oh, did anyone else see that Kelly Marissa, like, literally can breathe now? That's, like, so great. <laughs> She's like, I can breathe now. I'm like, what? Like, breathing. <laughs> Congrats. I did. Okay. So, I thought it was very funny. I asked her, uh, what's it like picking her nose now? And she actually fucking responded. So, <laughs> okay. I've got, like, it's a little on the side. It's not centered, but there is a heart there. Because now, like, you know, she got that deviated septum taken care of. There's, like, a lot more real estate, right? She can go... Like, okay, I wanted to phrase it. How I wanted to phrase it was, how's the gold digging going? But then I realized that could be taken as me saying she's, like, gold digging. Like, actual, like, money. But I, I wanted to... Met, like, you know, when you pick your nose, someone goes, uh -huh, how, you know, how's the digging for gold? Um, So I phrased it in another way, which was also really weird. And I shouldn't be asking people who I... <laughs> Who I do not personally know. How's picking the nose going? <laughs> because of this birth. Yes. <laughs> Breathing. Congrats. Yeah, it's real. It. I'm. I'm. It's a little funny how. I. I mean, it's not funny. It's. Like it seems like her doctors just really kind of um dismissed her not breathing and just never asked questions. They're just like, ah, yes, you're 30 years old. Waking up with headaches is just what happens now. Like, I'm like, I'm 32. The only time I've woken up with a headache is a hangover. It's <laughs> the only time I've woken up like that. <sighs> Go Bath and Body Works? Yes. With her new pow found, found power to smell. <laughs> I feel it's funny okay it's it's just funny in like a haha -ha way not in like a okay I don't know how to describe how it's funny to me it just is okay we're going again no we have to get Kelly Marissa out of our mouths because it is Colette Colette she is our only only goddess here That's so great. Yeah. She rediscovered smelling and tasting. Yes. <gasps> it's a heart. Okay. Guys, I need you all to calm down. Shh. We're getting there. Oh, my God. Have I done it and it's only taken me like six hours to figure this out? Has it only taken me six hours to figure this out? I think grabbing, like, lower rings and not keeping it consistent is probably, like, a game changer. Because it's not fucking up the hearts above. Okay, I gotta get rid of the vagina. No vaginas. I think I just got rid of my heart. <sighs> no, okay, okay. Maybe I keep the vagina. Maybe the vagina's good luck. You know? I mean... Uh, okay. Yoop. Yoop. The sound effects always help, too. I I will say, Colette's a little lacking in her sound effects. Um, I feel... Okay, I went animal mode. Gentle. Allie. Gentle. Colette taught you a new word. Use it. Stop being an animal! Oh, okay. It's... <laughs> okay, it... It dried. It dried. It dried on me. Okay. All right. The patron saint of water marbling. Yes. 
parents never did anything. Well, I think it's just they don't know. Like some, like I'll talk about like things to like my my parents, and they're just like, oh, like if you don't tell your parents, you know, they've got other shit going on. I mean, and kids are little shit. Like my mother said that she never felt worse when I was um. When I was eight years old, she finally took me to the doctor. Like, I was getting a lot of headaches. And, like, um, like sometimes I'd be just lying down in bed for hours. And she just thought I was sick. Because that's why I'd tell her. I'd tell her, like, my back hurts or something like that. So, she'd be laying me, you know, she'd lay me down. And then she took me to the doctor. And the doctor was like, do you see spots sometimes? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you mean all those little lights? Like, the little uh, rainbow orbs? And he's like, she she has migraines. <laughs> she suffers from migraines. <laughs> Which is fun, because they're not your grains. They're migraines. But, like, migraines can, like, I would throw up from them. So, it's, like, it's hard when you're, like, a parent and you don't know how to diagnose it. Because kids can't articulate well. Um, like, at least I couldn't to my parents what was going on. And, you know, when you're a kid and you don't know seeing spots is not a usual symptom of just being person. <laughs> You know, well, I haven't, I've, I had them for almost a decade. I had them since I was a wee baby, baby child, just seeing spots. And I didn't realize that's not what people do. They don't just see spots. <laughs> and, you know, uh, there we go. You know, kids are little shits, man. They can't talk with their brain holes. <laughs> or, or as some other people will call them, mouths. <laughs> uh... Did you light a candle before? Oh, yeah. I said my prayers. I went to bed last night. I said a few prayers to Colette. And then um, I went to sleep only listening to her water marbling heart videos. <laughs> I was going to do something that was really unhinged. Okay. But because I don't know Colette and I don't... Like, I've only ever watched her tutorial content. I've I've tuned into her streams a couple times, but I don't really, like, know her vibe. So I've only really watched her tutorials. So what I was going to do for today, I was going to Photoshop like the, you know, the Simpsons meme, like the do it for her. And it's just like, you, remember, you're here for life. And he covers it up with photos of like uh, of Maggie and it says do it for her. I, I was going to Photoshop Colette into that and just do it for her. I'm like, that seems a little unhinged for someone I have no idea about. And that might come off a little too strange. So I decided against it. Wow, what was that poll? Okay, we'll correct. Okay, what was that poll? What's happening? Got Jigglypuff inspired polish from PPU? Yes! Okay, I just, okay, again, I'm going too hard. I'm going too hard. Yes, okay, there we go. There we go. And now, grab the other ring. We just need to be gentle. Like, that literally is all it is. I'm lightly. A hair and a breath, skimming the top. A hair and a breath, skim the top. Boop. A hair and a breath, skim the top. Okay, it's close enough. I'm taking it. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I'm... Wait, but there's not like a... No, no I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. You can't force me to take that. Okay. Hair and a skip. A hair and a skip. I know I didn't clean in between. I'm so sorry. A hair and a skip. Okay. All right. I'm knocking things over. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's drying, guys. No. Boop. Okay. It, it dried. Fuck. So far. So, so far. Just two shitty hearts. And the <laughs> emphasis on the shitty. Okay. I do have a second water marble cup. My uh, tried and true, uh, I'm going to call her Bertha. <laughs> I'm just going to try it while the other polish like fully dries. <sighs> Speaking of animals, did you order anything for PPU? I do not participate in PPU. I am so sorry. I don't, I don't like FOMO. I am very susceptible, susceptible to FOMO. Um, so I do not participate in PPU because I will spend too much money and, uh, because I don't want to miss out. Bl uh, I'm not blaming the cup. I'm not. I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm, I'm just waiting for it to dry. 
Trust me, I would never blame my uh, shot glass that I once ate pudding out of. Our grocery store uh, sells pudding, delicious pudding, in little glass cups. And uh, yeah, that's where I got that little itty bitty cup that looks like it could be a shot glass, but way too big for a shot. <laughs> uh, wait, did anyone else pick up anything from PPU? I live vicariously through all of the, uh, the people who stream their pickups. Maybe this was it too, because my heart hasn't been squishing up enough. So maybe I need to... Well, hello there. Should I take you out on a date first? Uh, should I get to know you before I do this to you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. I'll stop being a weird perv. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Okay, that's a tiny heart. Whoop. All right. All righty. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boop. Okay. Colette's like, oh, yes, you can just get a string of hearts. I'm like, can you, though? Can you? Can I? Uh, let me try. I kind of... I might take this one. Okay. I might... I might... I might... I might... I might... I am. I took it. It's mine now. Delicious. Delicious. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Mmm... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> we won't give up. We won't give up. You... My next stream will not be a water marble stream. I swear to God. I will be freehanding an actual nailer. <laughs> and then we might come back to this. Colette, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I have failed you. I've done everything right in life. I tried to serve you as best I could. I just kept falling short. Please, blame this this foolish mortal. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Right. Now we pay attention. Okay. It's just a cute water marble. Bitch! Alright. You grabbed a couple, not many this month. M munch? Month. Jesus. Okay. It's fully solidified. I have missed so much chat. Oh my god. But it looks like you guys are just chatting to each other, so. I, uh, I get so tempted to participate in PPU every fucking month. Because I'm like, oh, that one polish. That one polish is real pretty. But I can't. Because if I allow myself to, then I will spend a lot of money. And, yeah, no, 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 no. I just, I can't. My, my, you know, I, my, how my fiance and I work is that each, you know, each month we each get like a hundred bucks of fun money. And if you don't spend it, it gets to roll over the next month. So... Uh, I've actually got quite a bit rolled up. I had to, uh, I saved quite a bit a lot for Black Friday last time, so, yes. It was kind of nice to not have a budget for Black Friday, because I was like, oh, I haven't spent a lot of my money. Okay, we're back at it. Gentle. We wipe it off. Gentle. I think... The other thing is, I just want to go so deep. I'm like a dwarf. I just want to mine. Bring it down. Bring it downtown. Bring it downtown. <sighs> okay. Like, I think the last polish I was really tempted was, was uh, Bigfoot Believes in You. Ooh. Bigfoot Believes in You by, I think it was Night Owl Lacquer. But... I have Mooncat stumped. So, I was like, no, 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 no. We're not going to start in PPU. We aren't. That's not how we vibe. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, these haunts are... Haunts? These hearts are a little wonky, but that's okay. Don't tell my heart, my wonky donkey heart. I just don't think it understand. 
As if I told my heart, my wonky donkey heart, the snail's about to have a vagina above its head. Okay. 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 All right. All right. I just bumped my camera several times. Okay. It's a wispy heart. It's a, I'm about to put polish on my face. Oh my God. It's a wispy heart. It's wispy. Shh. It's whispering straight nothings to you. No, my, my, like, neighborhood has been, like, crazy the last, like, month. There's just always an ambulance or a fire truck. And I'm like, what the fuck are my neighbors doing? What's happening? Are they okay? Like, I woke up this morning and I saw a fucking ambulance just driving by. I'm like, hello? And then I got up earlier today, like, to make lunch and, like, another ambulance. And I'm like, hello? What is happening? I don't know. Okay. I mean, they're kind of hard. You know what? Honestly, these two nails are pretty successful. Not Colette level of success, but they are kind of success, right? They kind of fuck. Right? 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 Oh my god. This is why this is why people don't water marble. Okay, I talked earlier about how why my hand looks so jaundice. My lighting is just being thrown off. My hand is not this color, <laughs> but like water marble people, this is what they try to hide from you. I'm not gonna hide this from you. This is gonna be a bitch to take off, and it's sticky. It's just wet polish that is in my DNA. <laughs> I'll never hide the truth from you all. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what? What? Colette's like first like water marble heart video I watched. She was using tape. I'm like, oh my god. She might have a latex allergy though, so that's probably why. I actually I just considered that as I was speaking it, going, oh, why are you using tape? Uh. Imagine having a latex allergy. <laughs> Imagine being allergic to, to milk or peanuts. <laughs> uh, your body can't handle a peanut? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just, I am just bullying, okay? I am a bully. I'm so sorry. All right. My fiance is allergic to cats and we have two cats. So just be like, imagine being allergic to cats and owning two cats. Hmm. <laughs> Because that's his life. And every day... Wait, what if I just... No, okay. I thought this would, like, pull it closer. Like like a dummy. Love them. I love water marbles. You love the mess? You can have the mess. It's all yours. I'll give it to you. You, you want this? <laughs> uh, there, okay. We make the vagina at the top. The most important part of this water marble. Alright. Boop. We are starting to ascend. Look at that. See, I can get like one heart, but I want the chain. I want the chain. I'm so greedy. Will my pinky be the best? And you won't be able to tell what the fuck it is. Oh no. Okay, wait. Nope. Okay. Oh no! I ruined it. I made it more vaginal. <laughs> okay, we're going in. Oh, it's just so hard to see. Oh! <gasps> and then I lifted my hand! <laughs> no! Oh, what a cruel mistress! I wonder what happens if I water marble over this. Do you think I can water marble over this? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I can't water marble over that. I can literally see the bubbles. So I'm going to take off the polish gently. I, I don't have up. I need an adult. Please, someone. 
help me. <laughs> it's just, don't, don't what? Don't take this off with, with acetone. I'm doing it. I need my coffee. You're right. I'm six minutes late for my coffee. <sighs> Please no. Please no what? I'm taking, I'm taking this off. <laughs> oh yeah. The combination. Oh yeah. <laughs> The chaotic mess. Okay, and then... Shh, guys. Guys, this is what the cleanup brush is for. Okay. Alright. Now we just put on another base coat. No, we don't even put on the base coat. I'm raw-dogging this, okay? I'm raw-dogging girl, girl, girl gang. Because that's what girl bosses do. They, they raw-dog this. Oh, sh okay. And then I... Flood my cuticles. <laughs> then I flood my cuticles. Oh, is it? It's feeling weird. Gently, gently. No. I try. I tried to be gentle, and it succeeded actually quite a bit. No, don't water marble over it. It'll never dry. Yeah, that's what. That's that's what I thought. Just because, like, I uh, full on could see the water trapped under that second weird layer <laughs> i kind of wanted to you know to see what happens for science but you know that's what comes with age and wisdom eventually you figure things out <sighs> eventually sometimes you don't actually never mind sometimes you just struggle and what is life but not struggling sometimes we make our own struggles like i'm doing right now like this is unnecessary amounts of struggle <laughs> <laughs> don't mock me no I need it okay we're zooming out I can't believe Colette would fail me like this how dare she betray me <laughs> please no one tell Colette about any of this I'm so sorry I need to stop invoking her name this is probably why I get for invoking her name so much. I'm invoking her wrath. Dude, though, she does have, like, a cat, and it has, like, one eye, and it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I'm here. I'm here for people with pet cams. I'm here for people and their pets. Honestly, pets are better than people. You know what? I'm going to say it. All content creators, get out. Get off. Get, get, get. I'm not here for you. I'm here for your pets. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, guys, we will succeed. We will do this. We will succeed. Hello, having better luck? Do not mock me, Wendy. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Um, I think, I think I'm having better luck. I'll, I'll risk it. I'll show it off while my bullseye is trying. It's getting there. We have a couple more hearts. All right. I did, I did do a huge fuck up though. When I dipped my nail, my pinky, for, to, to, to get the water marble, I came up. This is the first time I've ever done that. I came up and then just got the rest of the bullseye on my finger. I've never done that before. Um, but this is how we live life. And in the great words of Colette, gentle, guys, gentle, gentle, gentle. Wait, what happens if I just do this? Okay, nothing. Gentle. <laughs> gentle. My back hurts. Gentle. Shoo. Gentle. What's a gentle? Okay. Oh. That's what a gentle sound effect sounds like. Oh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't gentle. Okay, we've got a teeny tiny heart right there. Teeny tiny. Okay. Teeny tiny hearts. Okay, we take the teeny tiny. We take the teeny tiny. And maybe... Okay, okay, okay. This time, don't come up. As my hand is grossly clawed. Like, they always say be careful at this phase. And I'm like, I don't need to be careful in this part. This is not the dangerous part of water marbling. Okay, teen, like, it, okay, it's a very abstract heart. It does not look like it was an intentional heart. It looks like, oh, you, you accidentally have a heart. How cute. 
Um, it was very much intentional. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh god, no. I don't want to do this again. Ah! Someone call 911. I'm going to be the other ambulance in the neighborhood today. <laughs> There's been so many amb Oh, what's happening? Okay, my my liquid latex is not breaking. Okay, there we go. Okay, peel off. Oh, don't snap back. How dare you? I mean, it's cute. It's cute. But it's not hearts. I have so much cleanup, too. Like, look at my pinky. Look at that. That's so much polish just under my nails. Good lord. <laughs> All right, guys. <sighs> Another failure. Under <laughs> okay, can I also say my title today was pretty fucking fire, too. What was it? Uh, failure's not an option, but a high possibility? That's fucking funny. <laughs> Super cute. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You can totally get the heart. Okay, it's passable. All right? So, we'll give her... We'll give her a C minus. A C minus. You know, one day I'll get good. I need a... One day. One day. I was really, 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 really sad. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> I only know of that song because of YouTubers roasting what? what how old was she? Like, 16? Like, I'm so sorry. Let's all attack this 16-year-old. I mean, she does have a lot of money, but, you know. Age. Age and wisdom. Okay. Like, I don't want to know what I was doing when I was 16. I want to forget about all that. And then we're going to top coat with Sesh Beat. We're living chaotically. It's cute. <gasps> Thank you so much. Art and mess go together. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, I have so much cleanup. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be drinking my coffee with acetone. Like, just cleaning up this mess. This bloodbath. <laughs> this is what the water marble girlies do not tell you about. We keep that secret deep within our hearts. You, <gasps> No, Wendy, okay? Do it on stream. It's really difficult. And, uh, doesn't cause any panics or issues whatsoever. <laughs> you should do it on stream. It can be fun. All the streaming polishers should do water marble hearts on stream. Please don't do it better than me, though. Oh, please, please don't succeed at it first attempt, please. <laughs> I'm asking so nicely. <laughs> I won't be able to handle it. I only started warble mar warble marbling? water marbling last year, okay? Just a desperate plea. Please don't be better than me. Like, I, I like everyone else, like, struggles, right? <laughs> there is now, like, six hours of me struggling to do this on my channel. I love that for me. And, like, people will just, like, the one day when I get it right, people are going to be like, wow, how'd you do that? It's so good. And I'm going to be like, well, as you can see, there's over 40 hours of me just attempting this day after day after day on my channel. <laughs> That's what it takes. Girlies in the non-gendered set. Yes. I mean, okay. Sorry. I try. I try so hard. I try so hard. Okay. I'm just going to start referring to everyone as dudes. Dudes isn't gendered. All right. Okay. I will say there is one thing that I will stand by. I will stand fucking by that will be forever gendered. Okay. All right. I've read this story. Um... Uh, the this uh this trans woman she went into a bathroom and she had always carried like tampons and pads on her you know because you know she just wanted to help other women out in their time of need and in one fateful day a woman asked her for a pad and she got so excited gave her a pad and then she said that she became a woman that day that that was the first day she was a full on woman i just i love that story it's so cute and I'm going to say, I'm going to double down. I'm going to say, okay, here we go. 
Women laughing with their salad. That is the day you become a fucking woman. If you laugh with your salad, congrats, you are a fucking woman. <laughs> That's the only thing that's gendered. Men, they's, once you laugh with your salad, you're a woman. <laughs> that is our pastime. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, du- dudes has always been non-gendered to me. Um, I understand, like, there was the thing in the 90s where people were trying to go dudettes, but, like, dudes has always been non-gendered for me. And guys, honestly. Guys has been always a non-gendered term. But who else here agrees with me? Like, laughing at salad, that's for the girls. <laughs> that's the day you become a woman. Uh... I'm here. Okay, and no one knows that meme. Literally, like, um like health advertisement just type in women laughing with salad and it's just like there's so many photos of women just laughing with their salad like this and the salad like has no dressing on it or anything like that or croutons it's just plain fucking lettuce in a goddamn bowl and they're all like (laughs) yes women laughing at salad good memes i don't know why that one peaks for me in my brain but that is peak tomfoolery of the internet uh, guys for me is so hard to quit i don't know i just don't feel like guys is gendered though i feel like i don't know i don't know i've never had anyone be upset when i use the word guys i don't i don't know there's always a leaf on the fork, fork, yes, or a piece of just raw, straight up broccoli, and they're just like ha, 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 ha. laughing with their goddamn salad, <laughs> as is our birthright. Only us women may laugh with our salads, <laughs> and if you laugh with your salad, congrats, you are a woman for the moment those giggles escape you, and then you return to whatever. You know, you return after you are done laughing. But the giggles. <laughs> That's for the ladies. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> these, these are the spices, spi- spiciest takes I have. So enjoy my jalapeno flavored takes. <laughs> Where I, I just get to just... <sighs> okay, it's cute. It's giving, but I wish it gave more. I wish it gave up more and then just fell off my hands. I don't deserve nails. We're all giving up. And I hardly looked at chat this this stream. Oh my god, what am... I'm a terrible streamer. I'm sorry, guys. I've just been distracted. I've been focused. (sighs) Wait, you've replaced guys with y'all, but then I get you aren't from the South. Okay, growing up in Maine... We would all say y'all. Fuck off with your bullshit. Y'all, I'll give it to you. As someone who has a Floridian driver's license, I'll give you y'all. You can use it. I give you the pass. The y'all pass. The y'all. Here we go again. Uh, I just... Okay, I feel like y'all just... It... Now, I will say one thing. Okay, so um, I am a, uh, a a trained phlebotomist, so I steal your blood. But um, basically what happened during our, like, phlebotomy training and stuff like that, um, the, the dude who was training us, he's like, okay, so you just have to be super careful with your language, like, you know. Um, but one thing that's going to be very hard for you all to break is calling patients honey or sweetie. Um, this is the South. You, ha- you uh, you're probably going to get a pass, but if you go out on somewhere else in the country, a lot of people, a, a lot of people consider it condescending and so, God, I picked up honey and sweetie so quickly when I moved down to Florida, everyone is just a honey or a sweetie. And it's just like, especially children, especially. Especially children. Hi, Starry. Hello. How are you? So that's... So they were just warning us the entire time. Just make sure you try and break that habit. 
if you work in the South, you'll be fine. But if you try and work somewhere else, they do find it condescending. And I was watching Selling Sunset. (laughs) And they had a full-blown fight. Because one of the girls from the South called another girl. Like, she was, like... It's, like they were they were having a fight and then she said but honey wait <laughs> and that set her off she lost her fucking mind she's like how dare you call me honey don't condescend to me it's like no no no. she wasn't meaning it in like a, a weird way she's just uh, like she's like i'm from the south it's just how we speak and she's like you don't speak that way to me Selling Sunset is such fun trash. I love it. It's my go-to trash because none of it's real. And fight me. I'm going to say it. I'm going to fucking say it. Christine's my favorite. I don't care how terrible she is. None of it's fucking real. None of them have realtor's licenses. Christine's my favorite because she's a villain. (laughs) Oh, God. Y'all is universal and non-gendered. So true. It's what the South gave us all. Top coating was sesh fucking wheat. Sesh wheat. I love y'all, though. Y'all is such a fun word. Uh, I mean, can we all can we all agree that we're going to hold, like, being from New Jersey against Kelly Marissa, though, right? <laughs> Sh- ugh. New Jersey. Gross. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm a New Englander. We have a disdain for the Jersey. Yuck. <laughs> uh, and like, well, people like say like Kelly has like a strong Jersey accent. I don't fucking hear it. She doesn't sound. I mean, I can hear it in certain words, but I don't hear it all the time. Like you can pick up I'm a Mainer from the way I'll say like kitten or mitten. I'll drop those T's and I'll replace them with ins. Um, I try my hardest not to do that, but when I get very excited, I'll get kitten and mitten, get in our car, go down to Bahaba, you know? <laughs> but I don't think Kelly has a strong accent. <laughs> You're from New York. Hate New Jersey. You know what? Everyone hates New Jersey, and they fucking deserve it. They know what they did. They know what they fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, it depends for, if men say... Yeah, men can say honey and sweetie in, like, a really condescending way or, like, a kind of predator way. Um, yeah. Like, it... Men, like... Yeah, it can be a bit bit dicey when men say sweetie or honey. I find that, though, like, a lot of people... Like, when I've been called honey or sweetie, it hasn't been too terrible. I haven't, like, taken it... That's condescending. I've had men tell me to smile. Uh, I just want to fucking shoot them. <laughs> or myself. <laughs> so aggressive. Sorry. Like, how dare you tell me to fucking smile? Hey, hey, honey, let's see a smile. Oh, fucking. How oh, I fucking. S- <laughs> tell me to smile. I'm going to frown harder and just. So mad. So mad. <laughs> Tell me to fucking smile. Good lord. You're in Vegas, local born and raised? Oh, I love Las Vegas. Well, living there must be a completely and utterly different experience, though. Dude. So you're like, like, I don't know. Vegas is just a lot of fun. I love it. Good eating. Good fucking, like, just people watching. I love people watching is so much fun i get like nothing's more fun okay nothing's more fun than being at a bingo hall people watching all the old biddies they have all their like trinkets and little like keep stakes they're fucking trolls trolls are very popular amongst old ladies to bring to bingo halls and you see them just bring their little army of trolls on their table and then before each number is called they have to touch each and every one or they touch a specific one because it's like a b has been called or an o has been called and they fucking just go through these crazy ass rituals fucking go i love it so much oh, thank you thank you melina thank you so much oh but like oh, just just the people watching i literally watched a man 
start swinging and get pulled away by security because you start punching the shit out of a machine. <laughs> it's like, bro, are you okay? Or like the people in their reaction time. Okay, so when you press play on a slot machine, it's already rolled the number. It's just showing you what like pictures it's going to show you. So it already knows the, when you push it. So when people try and like stop it, like they'll try to stop it for the bonus game and they'll like hit the machine as hard as they can. Just, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> but watching some people's reaction times kills me. I'm like, you guys are not gamers. <laughs> Motherfucker, you stopped that at like three minutes ago. What the fuck? Anyone heard anything about Fandom Flaky's box? Doesn't Nicole do a Fandom Flaky's, like, review every month? Something. I remember, like, I, w I watched, like, all of Nicole's videos. And, like, uh, I think she does Fandom Flaky's. Right? Oh, my fake fan. Oh, my God. No. Fake fan alert. <laughs> Just because I don't remember if uh, Nicole does fandom flakies. I, I thought, I've heard, I when I hear fandom flakies, I hear it in Nicole's voice. So I imagine she does, like, reviews, right? Mm. Nicole loves. I'm just, like, look, this is what they don't tell you. I'm just smudging this further along my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, I don't normally do the cleanup on, on, on stream, but I'm kind of having fun talking. <gasps> she, oh, she has a members live today. Oh, shit. Yes, she does. Oh. Yeah, check out Nicole Love's channel. Um, Nicole Love's is still her at. Um, but she does, like... Ooh, I'm dropping things. Uh, she did limit indies. Yeah. Which, you know, it seems like her experience with the indie world has been a little kind of good and bad. Like, it seems like there's just a lot of, like, indie... Uh, nail polish pe people that kind of take advantage of people's time. Like, eh. oh. Oh. Uh, I haven't heard anything on their website saying they're returning January 2024. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Dude, I will. Oh god, the best crepe I ever had was in Las Vegas, in the Paris. There's like a little crepe shop, and oh my fucking god, my my fiance and I were the perfect level of drunk. Like we both had slight buzz. Like it's you're over the buzz and into like hee 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 mode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Drink responsibly, gamble responsibly. Gambling is very bad. Okay, wait, wait. Let me just make sure. Let me clarify. Gamble responsibly. Be careful. You know, when I'm talking about substances and stuff like that, my fiance and I are <laughs> we drink responsibly, and when we gamble, we also gamble responsibly. So, uh. Gambling is the quickest way to lose money. <laughs> Sorry, I, f hmm, I, I, I figure everyone around me like is my age, but there might be a few kitties here. Um, yeah, gambling, you know, gambling's for suckers. You're just gonna lose money, but ha but have fun when you do it. <laughs> but we went to the Paris. It's crepes. Those crepes were heaven sent. They were the best crepes I have ever had. And they were like $16 a crepe. Worth it. I think they were $16. I could, he could have said any number at me. I was pretty drunk. <laughs> they were delicious. I got a chocolate crepe. Are you kidding me? And when we go back this year, we have it already marked. We're already going to the crepe shop. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, I can lose money without gambling hair flip. <laughs> oh my god. I yeah, I think we can all lose money. The, okay, so my mother is a gambler. Um she gambles responsibly. And basically what she told me is you go to your ATM machine, you take out how much you want to gamble, you look at the new amount that is in your bank balance. That is it. That's that's the new amount. You're not putting any more money in. You have lost whatever is in your hand. It's already gone. You have to be okay with that number in your bank account. If you're not, you put the money back in. And that's 
that's how you gamble. <laughs> you just, you're okay with it. This money's gone. And you think to yourself while holding it, I will have fun losing this. The moment I don't have fun, I walk away. <laughs> when, the first time we went to Vegas, we had planned on losing $600. Uh, $300 for me, $300 for my fiance. We came back only losing $300. See, but that's the psychology of gambling. You know, I'm still down $300, but I'm like, oh, I could have lost 300 more. And I only remember my wins. I don't really remember losing that much. And that's how gambling addiction starts. Because you never remember your losses. You always remember your wins. I can tell you when I spun and hit on a machine and won $600. I cannot tell you <laughs> how much I've lost. <laughs> I've probably lost a lot more than $600. <laughs> and that is the psychology of gambling, and that's how it gets to you. You will always lose. There's a reason why casinos are still in business. House always wins. You will lose your money. Oh, that's actually a really good tip from my mom. Yes, because my mother has, like, gamblers in her family that have lost everything. Like... She does, she does not fuck around. And my mother full on admits, you know, she has an addiction. She loves gambling, but she always does it responsibly. So she does gamble a lot, but, uh, my sister doesn't like how much she gambles, but I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, mom's having fun. They haven't, Okay. My parents have paid off their house. Their house is theirs. They paid off their vehicles. Everything's fine. They're not going to lose anything. <laughs> they can't lose anything, so. <laughs> Wait, you got carded last time you were in the Paris at 30 years old pregnant? <laughs> no. They thought it was a husband's daughter. <gasps> no. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I get carded so hard. And I think it's because I walk down the casinos wearing, like, t-shirts and jeans. And I'm just sitting there, like, looking like a fucking child in the face, I guess. <sighs> Dude, every time I make eye contact with the security guards, they just walk right towards me. And I just immediately pop out my ID. I'm like, I, I am... See that 19 in front of my... <laughs> in front of the year I was born? Yeah. <sighs> Like, I've tried wearing makeup. I've tried, like, dressing, like, sophisticated to be, like, I'm an adult. Hello, well. Nope. Still get carded. Well, I have... Casinos will, like, I'll walk into a casino, and then I'll show them my ID, and they'll tell me, you need a bracelet. Just get a bracelet. Uh, security's gonna harass you. <laughs> like, okay, fine. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll never forget my sibling got uh, harassed um, at a casino because we were we went to Las Vegas for their 21st birthday and uh, Maine does the vertical uh, driver's license if you're under 21 and then horizontal once you're past 21. So since my sibling had not turned 21 yet, she had the uh, horizontal fucking or you know the vertical driver's license. And th like literally several people were like, this ID is not real. My sibling's like, it's it's 100% real. <laughs> They're like, I don't know if we can accept this form of ID. Why is it th this orientation? It's just like, this, just Google it. This is how the state of Maine does it. <laughs> uh, uh, I think you should do what brings you joy. I, I'd agree too, to a certain degree. Um, gambling is just a very, like, gambling can be very slippery slope. It's, like, the most dangerous addiction you'll ever get if you get an addiction. Something like, like, this, okay, this is a little triggering, but, like, 70 to 60% of people who get a gambling addiction choose to end their own lives. So, gambling is one of the most dangerous addictions you can get. So, it's, like, always just be careful with what you, ha like, be careful with that because it's a slippery slope and everything in a casino is designed to get you hooked. There's, you'll never see a clock in a casino. All the lights are slightly dimmed. They don't want you to know what time it is. That's why they also f serve free alcohol. So you're a little bit loose and you kind of lose your, your consciousness. You're, <laughs> you, you're kind of inebriated and you don't care so much anymore. Gambling is very dangerous. You gotta be careful with it. But the bingo hall is always fun because they never serve alcohol. So you can be 18 and gamble in the bingo halls. 
And then you get to chill with the old baby or old biddies, which has a different, different type of danger. Hi, Briley. How are you doing? Bri Brylin. Brylin. I am a master at saying names. So when we went to Mohegan Sun, we're sitting in the bingo hall. Now the rules of bingo are they show you the number first. They, they'll show you a number and then they'll call the previous number. You have to call bingo when the number is called. So if you call early, they'll come and check your card and then they'll be like, that number hasn't been called yet. And then th then you have to wait for them to call it, then you call it. But if the attendant doesn't hear you yell bingo, they keep playing. And if you miss your number called, if they call the next number, your bingo no longer counts. It's a dead card. It does not count anymore. So we were at Mohegan Sun and a lady called, oh, Brian. Oh, okay. Hello. Sorry. I'm terrible with names, but okay. So we're me at Mohegan Sun and this, you know, the number's called the, the old lady screams bingo. Everyone in the hall hears it and you can hear people grumble. Every time bingo is called, everyone goes, ah, shucks, I was one away. So you kind of hear the bingo hall start to grumble a little as bingo was called. And then the attendant calls another fucking number. The bingo hall loses its fucking mind. Old biddies start screaming at this attendant. She called bingo. How could you? <laughs> They start screaming, old people start booing this attendant, and because she called another number, literally, because it's a strict casino, it's Mohegan Sun, they can't back it up. She lost out on, like, uh, bingos, bingos play for, like, $999, because at $1,000, you're then taxed on your winnings, so they pay, that, that card was for $999. The hall lost its fucking mind. And for like the next three numbers, people were screaming at her. <laughs> My mother was like, all right, everyone, just make sure you have your purses in hand because a fight might break out. These old people might charge this attendant. <laughs> oh my God, it was so fucking wild. Fucking hell. Don't mess with old ladies and their bingo. <laughs> but on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end it. <laughs> I just, I stopped cleaning my hand and then I started ranting about bingo. You know, when you got something on the brain, I think this was a pretty successful-ish hearts. We almost got, wow, I got polish on the sand too. We almost got there. Again, in the description, the colors I used are there. It's Color Clubs, Girl Gang, and Blaze. And on my right hand is again Color Clubs, Once Upon a Time. Next time I stream, I'm not doing a water marble. I'm going to take a little break. Mental breaksies. And maybe that will charge me up <laughs> to water marble heart successfully. I'm getting closer each time. Each time. I'm getting a little closer. Practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes... I don't know. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys, for showing up. Oh my god, I can't believe people keep showing up. Thank you so much for chatting. I'm so sorry. This time I was very terrible about chat. I was not looking at it at all. I am so, so sorry if I missed any messages because, oh my god, I'm so bad at that. But thank you so much if I'm, like, on the other monitor or if you're watching, like, the VOD. Thank you, thank you so much. And... Hopefully next stream, I'll have successfully done, <laughs> done nail art. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. 